part of it is skill, part of it was uh, luck, but I know it works because for me it has worked twice. I probably wouldn't have my head right now if I, if I hadn't picked up the head deep. Okay? So the position here, right, you hand two positions. But really, you put it right here, and you can get it here. See, this is all of it is whoof, gravy. See? And this is just being injected like that. Bang. See? Okay? All right, let's just try this little sector two. Still have it, you still, you still have it. 
and you're still covered for the low line that happens if you come to. Okay? Okay, let's just give it a try. It's one, two, three, and you have four. There's a high and low. Some people say there's five, some say there's six, and there's seven. Make it, are you employed with that? Okay. All right, now, we're going to skip this because you already have that one. And you just put in some data, right? You came right up here, right? And you had that one. Okay? So now we're going to take this one, and we will go right over here as long as there's a handle here. Okay, to eject this, see, you put your grab it, and you pull the stick out like that. The other way, is when you go like that, the stick goes straight to your hand, goes straight down, and you just lift up the knee like that. Okay, so we're going to release. Okay? All right, let's put that again. One is if you turn the wrist, pull your wrist, and strip it off the stick. Okay? This one over here is probably quicker, see, because you can strip it off your wrist. Okay, any questions on that sector? Can you show the other one? Pretty nice. Uh, if you go back, see, see the hand? Well, singularly, basically, what you're going like that, see? This is a, kind of an overkill, because you really smash the hand, see? You keep a good man to survive that. Because you get hit over here, it's one thing I learned, because the stuff that always hit us when we first started. When you get hit in the hand, when you get hit in the shin, it's just not this sometimes. It's just, it's not this, right? You cannot breathe. It affects your respiratory system. If you want to hit yourself hard enough, you'll you find that's true, see? That's why my first lesson was to smack my hand and smack my shin, and, and they told me, see? When I'm going to lay down on the ground, I always tell the story to bring out this point. See, Dan, you understand now? See, notice it doesn't hurt your leg only, it affects your wind, doesn't it? And so, see, you wouldn't believe me unless I really hit you. See? But I told him, in my mind, I said, yes, I would have, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the object behind that is that I really learned to appreciate that level of pain, see, as before. It, probably if he never really hit me, even if he told me, I would not have appreciated it as much, see? So after, it takes a good man to justify that. that means this thing now, it should be barely holding on. There's some people that have good pain tolerance, I'm sure you already know that whether it's punching or whether it's locking. So you just lift, pull this down, and then strip it like that. Okay? All right, that's the, the strip and all with the stick. Which side? That's sector five, okay? Or sector six. Sector one. Sector one. But even maybe taking a, a, a hit here, and then maybe taking a hit here, and then taking a hit here, and then maybe doing the technique. See? The object is you want you don't want to get your head hit. It's sometimes it's very painful to get the shot here. But like my instructor said, you've got to make the decision. You want it here or you want it here. Obviously, the best choice is your your hand. So you could you take the lesser, right? Even even in the case of uh, the playground I was working, when I got hit with the bat. It hurt. I'm not saying it didn't hurt, and I don't say I wasn't scared, but I know to this day that if that thing really would have hit my head like that, it would have been my head, see? But the object see, will feel the same, see? It was so cool that it surprised the heck out of me more than probably the guy. <laughs> but uh, the point is, see, the same principle of this now will work for bats. For me, it's worked twice on baseball bats, okay? Baseball bat is very similar. Do a cricket bat. Okay, back. See the hand here. One takes away from the power. Okay, this is the snake. That's the first, probably the easiest one that you can learn. Snake. The second one for that is you go like that and you strip it down. Okay, that's the strip. And you stop it and you just pat it down. See. The third one. Sometimes you, your hand is up here. You just pop it up like this. In the event that a strip doesn't work, see, you automatically bring it to the next strip. Okay, so I like to have you just learn just three, okay? The first one, you snake, right? That's the first one. The second one, you strip down, okay? The third one, your hand is here, you strip up, okay? As you strip up, you can later on give the kick inside in between this, okay? Okay, so that's your position, okay? Strip down, okay? Next one, strip this way. The next one, you strip up, okay? Fourth one, sometimes you don't get it. You tap it and get the shin, see? And this one is taken out, see? You can keep it also, or over here, you can smash the shin and it's just get rid of it. Over here. Okay, I'm going too fast. That's four for this angle, okay? Well, that's the number one angle. This one will hurt, but 
if you, the closer you come here, this is where it hurts the most. The closer you come in here is the better. See, you can see you can automatically twist it. See, and you see the remember the one when we get here. Any the principle is anything you prop in here can be used for the relief. See, so this one here, your hand is in here. See, even if you have that much room, see, it has play. See, because that's just like doing this. See, this lock, right? So you obviously spit, spit it out. Okay. So the point over here is that you either pop up, pop down, snake, or catch, pass it, and then it hits the shin, see? Okay? You can now either throw that stick away or give it back to them, okay? Throw it out this way, or you can strip it with this leg, or you can strip it with this leg, or you can strip it with this arm, see, and then give it back this way, see? Some people put it like this and they put this up, or they take them back from this way, see? You can throw it any position. You can, and all, over here, you get two. One here and one here. Okay? All right, now, uh, any, any questions? Okay, so if you just remember, that snake. Okay? You see, that's the other one. See, so, there's so many of these. But all you got to do is pick the right one, learn one well, and then you can, you can get it. Okay, but that's a snake. That's a strip. That's a strip up. If you strip up of your palm, you can strip up of your palm, of your knuckle. You can strip up even with your shoulder. It can be used. It be even itself, see? Now, for blade, you can't do this now. So, the sword, you can't do this, right? Like, that's nothing you can do, really. You want to get down to it. It's not like the movies where you just on the sword. But the object is you want to get as close as possible here. Okay, any, any questions now? You can just repeat it. Snake, okay? Strip down, strip up, and catch and pass. And you either what? Get rid of it or give it back to them. Okay, let's just try that. Shin 
here, and that's cranked here, see? or it's cranked here, and they take it down like that. Okay? All right, let's do that again. So you have a strip when your hand's on top, stripping it this way. You have a strip when you bring it back this way, okay? You have a strip, okay, when you bring it back that way. You have a strip when you send it back all the way in that direction over here. Okay, now, the point is, when you do this, this could be very dangerous, see? That will hit you here, see? That's why some of those Filipino guys, they get this bolt, see? And they even strip on their body. Automatically, taking them down to the lock here, see? When they do it. Okay, so you, there's so many different follow-ups that you could possibly do. Others, when you come over here, right, when they crank here, see, they automatically eject it. See, my elbow is, see the hand? And then it's this hand, this is very common, you can find out. 